Hello, today we will be decoding a fine cipher. Uh, we will pick up a question which was there in a uh, in an invitational in December 2023. So as you know, with a fine cipher, we used a formula for encoding. And before that formula, right, we need to know the uh, the relation between the alphabets and the numbers. So generally this table gives you the relationship between the alphabets and the numbers and the encoding is done using a formula. Encoded value is equal to AX plus B mod 26. In this case, it will be 5X plus B mod 26. Now there are two main strategies for encoding a fine cipher. So one is uh, you kind of go and start finding the encoding for high frequency letters and then start substituting those letters, those alphabets in the cipher text and try to figure out uh, which words are forming or uh, try to find uh, encoding for other letters as you go along. The second option is to just find the encoder for all the letters starting from A. And do not worry initially that whether they are, uh, they will be used in arriving at ciphertext or not. Just go ahead. There is, uh, th th this will help eliminate any all the guesswork and with practice you can do it fast. And later you can kind of mix the, both the approaches to, to increase your speed. So today we are just going to find the encoding for all the letters or most of the letters, probably up till W and X. And then we will go back, try to put together the ciphertext or the plain text from the ciphertext and see how that goes. <clears throat> so to starting to start with this, right? We start with here five x plus two, right? So we start with a five x plus zero or five times zero is zero plus two, right? So encoding for a will be c. So let's start there. So you see a becomes c out here. Now for B, it will be five times one plus two mod 26, which is seven, seven is H. So we will go ahead and start uh, finding the ciphers or finding the translation or encoded value for each of those alphabets, right? So if you go here, right, that's how, that's what we get, right? C is five times two plus two, D is five times three plus, Two, right, and you see that there is a pattern evolving, right? Everything is five. There is a difference of five in the mod which you get, right? So with practice, it will become fast. Now F again becomes five times five plus two, which is 27. 27 mod 26 is one, which is B, right? And then again, it will keep on going in multi multiples of or additions of five from one, right? So G is G is uh, five times six plus two, which is 32, 32 mod 26 is six. So that's how you keep going. Now for uh, for I and H, right, you, you kind of keep going. Now once you're done with this, uh, continue to J. J is five times uh, nine, 45 plus two, 47, 47 mod 26 is 21. So 21 is V, okay. So you kind of keep going like this, you find uh, more decoded alphabets. And so we are up till M, N would be five times 13, 65 plus two, 67. 67 mod 26 is uh, 15. You also see here, right here again, we are moving five up here up till we hit 25, right? And then we go back. So this this makes it easy with practice. Uh, you should be able to become uh, more faster in this. So Q again is five times 16, which is 80, 80 plus two, 82 more 26 is, Four, right? Three times twenty-six is seventy-eight. So four, right? So e. So this this is kind of the approach, right? You kind of uh, don't worry whether that will be used in ciphertext. What you are encoding, 
just go on, right? So for S, we go on five times 18 is 90, 90 plus two, 92. Mod 26 is 14, 92 minus 78 is 14. So you kind of keep going ahead and you go to almost all the letters here. Now, once you get there, encoding becomes pretty straightforward. So we are looking at, we are looking in the opposite direction. We are looking at the encoding value and from encoding, we will go to, to the plain text, right? So P we can go to N, right? And U is, uh, sorry, U is, oh, right. So from, oh, so first one becomes no, right? C, M, T, right? C is A, M is C and T is T. Whoa. So this becomes act. Uh, similarly, U is Y, sorry, U is O and B is B is F. So U, B is off. A is, where is A? A is K, Q is I. P is N, R is D, right? So it's becoming like kind and kindness, okay? So kindness, no act of kindness. Again, P, U is no, we have already found that. No act of kindness, no M, it's K, right? So we're looking for K, K is M, okay? And C, C is A. So M A T T. So there were two T's, T results to T. Right. So no matter this look, L. Where is L? L is H. Okay. No matter. It seems like it will become how H U is O and I is W. No matter how small. Yeah, seems like O O is S, right? So it's coming to small. No matter how small, Q is I, Q is I and O is S, is. No matter how small is, uh, W is E, D is, where is D? No matter how No matter how small is ever, uh, this should be D, this V is D. Mm. Yeah, so this is a mistake out here. This should have been D, right? Three is D. Okay, no matter how small is ever, I, I, where is I? I is, I is W, C. C is A, so W, A, O is S. So w, A, S, T is T, wasted seems like. Okay, so that becomes wasted. Okay, so that's what it is. No matter how small is never wasted, right? So I made a mistake here. V is supposed to be D, the third, mapping to the third letter here, which is D. Okay, so hopefully you learned something here. Thank you.